pulling it tight. I take my knee and go right to his head and go underneath for the cross face. I reach and control his armpit. Now this hand is doing what? I'm moving his elbow. Pinch your elbow down for me. Yeah. So sometimes I'll have to work for this by crawling, right? Now I get the knee cut. So he can still push down, but now he knows that that's, that's not gonna really help the situation. His arm's trapped on the side that I'm, I'm on. His other arm really can't do much. If he reaches around like uh, low like this, that's not good for him because now he's pulling me on top. He's trying to push, right? So if he's pushing, the arm's in a good position for me. So what do I do? I use my shoulder to move his elbow. I bring my leg in, pull my foot close to my hip so I can pass to the mountain. Now, what am I gonna do next? I lift the head and start to move around his arm. My, my head is gonna keep his arm pinned. His defense is going palm to palm to push me this way. So that's why dropping my head is important. Okay, so keeping my head low. If I need another adjustment, I'll move his head over a little bit further close to my, my bicep. This hand, the cross facing hand, needs to be palm down, not palm up. Okay, palm up will work too, but I like palm down. It's a little bit uh, tighter. So now I'm gonna lean forward, pull and pass. So now when I pass all the way to the side, what I like to do is use my leg to kind of move his body over just a little bit and lay down flat. So now I'm going to push into him as I pull my arms and now I flex the bicep and I get the submission. Okay, and it should be pretty tight for your partner. <clears throat> 